Hi, Mika Fam at Imara here. For today's video, very excited akong i-share to sa inyo guys kasi recently ko lang ito nalaman and nung nalaman ko to, sabi ko talaga hindi pwedeng hindi ko ito i-share sa Mika Fam ko. So guys, sa video na to, isang digital bank yung pag-uusapan natin. Yes, you heard it right. It's a digital bank and it's called Overseas Filipino Bank or OF Bank po. Now, ang tanong, Ati Myra, Overseas Filipino Bank, ibig bang sabihin para lang ito sa mga Overseas Filipinos? Alamin natin yan later on. Pero guys, I was able to create an account. So, ibig sabihin kahit nasa Pinas ka, pwede kang magkaroon ng OF Bank account. Pag-uusapan natin briefly yung history, ano nga ba itong OF Bank, paano mag-create ng account, definitely, sino ang pwedeng mag-create ng account, para lamang ba ito sa mga overseas Filipinos, and so many more, so make sure to watch till the end para wala kayong ma-miss na any info, alright? Pero anyway, if you're interested, please keep on watching! Guys, prehistory ng Overseas Filipino Bank or OF Bank. In the past, guys, it was actually the Philippine Postal Savings Bank or the Post Bank. And noong September 28, 2017, si President Rodrigo Duterte po issued Executive Order No. 44 approving the acquisition of the Philippine Postal Savings Bank or Post Bank by the Land Bank of the Philippines. So from Post Bank, naging OF Bank na siya or Overseas Filipino Bank. This is a wholly owned subsidiary of Land Bank. Ano nga ba yung Overseas Filipino Bank or OF Bank? OF Bank po is a savings bank of the state-owned Land Bank of the Philippines. It is the first government digital-only Philippine bank. Guys, lahat ng overseas Filipinos and their beneficiaries can apply conveniently for their own overseas Filipino bank ATM account through the app. And itong app na to pwedeng i-download for both Google Play or App Store po. Sino-sino ba yung pwedeng mag-create ng OF bank account? Number one will be overseas Filipino worker. Pangalawa, pwede rin ito for OFW beneficiary. And take note, for the OFW beneficiary, pwede mag-create ng account as young as 7 years old and above po. And pangatlo will be overseas Filipino, guys. Guys, please take note ha, na itong OF Bank account po comes with a debit card, depende kung anong klaseng account meron ka. So if you are an overseas Filipino or OFW, merong specific card for you. And kung OFW beneficiary ka naman, depende kung ikaw ay from 7 to 17 years old, ito yung card for you. Pero kung ikaw naman ay above 18 years old and you are a beneficiary, then ito yung card for you. So guys, for the account opening, reminders lang para sa mga OFWs and OFs. Number one, kailangan meron kang active na mobile number. Pangalawa, kailangan meron kang active na email address. And kailangan meron kang at least isang valid photo bearing ID, kagaya na lang ng passport, UMID, or PRC ID. Tatlong choices lang for OF and OFWs, guys. And kung ikaw naman ay beneficiary, sa pag-open ng account, kailangan natin ng active mobile number. Number two will be active email address. And number three, kailangan at least isang valid photo bearing ID. So ito po yung list na tinatanggap if you are a beneficiary. Number one will be company ID, pwede rin driver's license, may GSIS, OFW ID, OWA ID, passport, postal ID, PRC ID, school ID, senior citizen ID, SSS, UMID, Voters Comelec ID. Sobrang daming pagpipilian. So first guys, install natin yung app and then after that, sa terms and conditions po. So scroll down lang po tayo and tap natin itong I agree. Madadirect tayo sa app guys and skip lang muna natin itong biometrics login. Open an OF Bank account. Versus Filipino Bank po or OF Bank ay Savings Bank of the State-Owned Land Bank of the Philippines. Ito ay first branchless, digital-only Philippine bank. So, if you want to apply for an OF Bank ATM account now, tap lang natin itong continue. So, magpili lang tayo one that best describes us, guys. Either you're an overseas Filipino worker kung OFW beneficiary ka or kung overseas Filipino ka po. Sa case ko, I will just choose OFW beneficiary 
And ito na yung products na pwede nating i-open. Number one, ito yung OF Bank Visa Debit Card. And yung pangalawa, yung OF Bank Regular Debit Card. Itong pangalawa guys, this is for 7 to 17 years old na beneficiary po. So of course, over 18 years old na tayo, ito yung piliin natin. Yung first one, the OF Bank Visa Debit Card po. So ito na yung ating pinili guys, the OF Bank Visa Debit Card. Interest bearing po itong savings account na ito. And pwede tayong maka-receive ng remittance from OF Bank account holders. Free of charge po, definitely. Pwede tayong maka-receive ng remittance via Visa Direct through Visa Partners Abroad. Pwede tayong makapag-transfer to and receive funds from other local banks, accounts via Instapay and PesoNet with corresponding sending fees as applicable. And pwede tayong makapag-pay ng bills to online merchants accredited by Landbank and or Visa. Pwede tayong makapurchase to online merchants accredited by Visa. Pwede tayong makapag-pay cashless through Visa and Backland POS or Point of Sale Terminals in Business Establishments, kagaya na lang ng department store or grocery. And pwede tayong makapag-withdraw ng cash through local international ATMs, POS, cash out, accepting Visa card or over-the-counter in any land bank branch. So, super nice kasi ang lapit lang ng land bank dito sa amin, guys. So, this will be very helpful talaga. Now, for the eligibility requirements, guys, at least 18 years old and above, able to read and write, not suffering from any legal disability, and with credible identification po. So, guys, for the fees and charges, wala pong minimum initial deposit, wala ring required minimum monthly ADB. Kapag ka na-fall below the minimum ADB, zero din yung charge, guys. And required daily balance to earn interest is 500 pesos and yung interest rate per annum is 0.05%. So mababa siya guys, hindi kagaya ng other digital banks na na-try natin na 2 to 3.5% talaga yung kanilang interest rate per annum. Pero dito, although it's a digital bank, um, yung interest rate niya ay nahahanay lang din sa mga traditional banks na meron tayo dito sa Pinas. For the maximum ATM withdrawal, guys, 50,000 pesos per day. Interbank transfer fee via Instapay is 25 pesos per transaction, guys. Ha? Medyo mahal yung transfer fee po. And dormancy fee is zero per month. And PDIC insured po ito up to 500,000 pesos per depositor. So, tap lang natin yung proceed na nasa upper right side po. And there's lang, make sure na meron tayong strong and secure internet connection during the application. And kailangan meron tayong active mobile number and active email address. Mag-prepare din tayo ng isang valid photo-bearing ID for scanning and verification. Guys, please take note ng OF Bank Digital Account Opening ay limited lamang to Filipino citizens. Non-Filipinos are not eligible to open an account using this facility. Kaya answer na natin following questions regarding your U.S. connections. So, number one, are you a resident or citizen of United States? And are you a United States permanent resident card holder? So, sagutan lang natin tong FATCA declaration, guys, and then tap confirm po. And tap lang natin tong I hereby confirm, and tap next. Okay, so let's get started. Sagutan natin dito yung profile details po natin, guys. Make sure na tama po yung spelling. Next to that, magka-create na tayo ng user ID po natin. Take note, it should be 6 to 16 alphanumeric characters and walang dapat na special character. Next, naka-create na tayo ng user ID. Ngayon naman, enter tayo ng password and magsisend po sila ng OTP. So, enter lang natin to within 5 minutes po. After nyan guys, magsisend po ng OTP sa ating email. So, check natin yung email. And there you have it guys, successfully created na po yung ating user profile. Pero hindi pa po complete yung ating account opening guys ha. If you are not able to complete your account opening, pwede ka namang makakontinue next time by logging in with your username and password within 30 days. Pero kung ready ka na to complete your account opening ngayon, tap lang natin itong continue po. And sagutin natin tatlong security questions dito. Ang kagandahan guys, marami tayong choices, so make sure na piliin natin yung pinaka-sure tayo sa sagot, ba? 
Then after answering security questions, guys, after niyan, sagutin natin personal information, nationality, birthplace, civil status, and then yung address po natin. Then next to that will be financial information, whether you are employed or not, or OFW ka, housewife, and so on. Source of fund, whether salary, remittance, business allowance, pensions, and so on. And gross monthly income, select lang natin dyan. Ayan. Enter natin dito yung TIN number po natin. Employer or business information if you have any. So, ano ba yung purpose? Why we are opening an account? So, piliin lang natin estimated monthly deposit and then tap next. So, estimated lang naman ito guys. Walang tama or mali po dito. Now, for the supporting document or photo ID, select natin yung type of document or photo ID na gusto mong i-upload. So, ito yung choices po, guys. Medyo madami, which I like, and meron ding school ID dito. So, hindi tayo mahihirapan to create an account with OF Bank po. And then, allow OF Bank to take pictures and record video. After nyan, guys, will be the selfie check po. So, follow lang natin yung instruction, guys, ha? Hindi ko mapapakita dito kasi hindi siya nakita sa recording. After po the selfie, guys, kailangan na natin mag-take ng picture ng ating valid ID po. So, nagmatch naman daw yung ID sa selfie or liveness scan ko po kanina. And so, lagay natin dito yung ID number natin, guys. And then after nyan guys, review and confirm na lang natin guys. Sa page na to, pwede natin ma-edit yung spelling in case na mali o nagkamali ng phone number or email. Ayan. Account application received. Transaction reference number po is ito. Um, Inonotify po tayo via SMS or email once they have processed po our application. So ito yung application number natin. Take note lang natin to. And so, tap natin tong okay. So, hoping na sana ma-approve yung ating application. So, guys, update ko lang kayo. July 9, Friday, tayo po ay nag-create ng OF Bank account. And exactly the next day, July 10, Saturday, guys, ha, nag-send po sila ng SMS or text message sa akin. Sinabi nila na, thank you for opening an OF Bank account. Please visit any land bank branch to get your OF Bank ATM debit card. Wow! Amazing, guys! Kasi kakagawa lang natin ng Friday, tapos Saturday, papupuntahin na ako sa land bank. Of course, Saturday yun, pwede tayong pumunta during business hours, guys. Pero, guys, ang bilis naman, pwede na kaagad maklaim yung ATM debit card. So, guys, please take note yung ATM debit card ay pwede natin i-claim sa any land bank branch near you po. Alright? And there you have it guys, ganun lang po kasimple mag-create ng OF Bank account. So kung ikaw ay overseas Filipino or OFW or kung ikaw ay beneficiary, tumatanggap ka ng funds or remittance from your kapamilya abroad, then pwedeng-pwede kang makapag-create ng OF Bank account. Sa totoo lang, sobrang bilis lang mag-create ng account dito and mabilis din yung approval. And of course, update ko kayo sa mga susunod nating videos kung paano yung paggamit nitong app na to and kung okay ba siyang gamitin. So anyway guys, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe kung hindi ka pa nakakasubscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.